Okay, so welcome back. And if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll be dropping a lot of Forex related content in the future and you don't want to miss out on that. But today we're going to tackle how to draw trend lines. Now, I know a lot of people struggle drawing trend lines. They don't know if, should, if they should draw like this or like that or should connect this point and that point. And it can, it can be confusing at some time. So today, I'm going to help you with all of that and by the end of the video, you're gonna be able to draw trend lines confidently and correctly. Okay, so when drawing trend lines, the first thing you need to know is which time frame you're drawing your trend lines on. So in my case, I'm more of a long-term trader, so I'll be drawing my trend lines on like the daily, the weekly, and the monthly time frames. And if you're the opposite and more of a short-term trader, you'll be drawing your trend lines on the intraday time frames, or maybe even the daily. So you need to find out which time frame you're gonna be working off and obviously draw your trend lines on those charts. And then once you've drawn your trend lines, there's two things you need to check for. Your trend lines must contain as many touches of price as possible and also contain strong swing slash reversal points. And these two things I just mentioned is what separates the strong trend lines from the weaker trend lines. And when we're trading, we wanna be trading using the strong trend lines and pay less attention to the weaker ones because trading is all about probability and we want probability to work for us rather than against us. Okay, so now you know the basics of drawing trend lines and you're able to identify a strong one and a weak one. So now I'm gonna teach you how to draw them. So there are three main ways of drawing trend lines. You can use candle bodies, candle wicks, or zones. And I'm gonna take you through each one of them, giving you the pros and cons and the differences. And I'll give you my opinions on that and which type of trend lines that I use when I'm trading. Okay, so let me stop chatting now and let's get in the market. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to draw trend lines using candle wicks. Okay, so for our first example, we're gonna use USD JPY on the weekly time frame. I'm just gonna take you through how I will draw a trend line on this chart. So I'll get my trend line tool out and I'll try and get as many touches of price as possible. So, okay. Okay, so I'll draw my trend line and there's two things that I was keeping in mind that I was capturing strong swing points in the market and as many tests of price as possible. So you can see that I've captured this swing point, this swing point, and this point as well. So I've got three strong points in the market. So that adds extra validation to the trend line. And you can see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight touches of price so it's a strong trend line and a lot of traders will be active around this these areas in the market so this is a strong trend line now i know a lot of people when they're first drawing trend lines they make the mistake of only including the tops or the bottoms of the candle wicks and i'll give you an example so if i was to draw the trend line and i was like to only include the tops of wicks so like see the top of that wick the top of that wick top of this wick and you can see that I've missed out this whole section in the market as well. I would have missed out on this trade because I'm just I'm just capturing the wicks, the top of the wicks of the candlesticks. And by doing that, you'll miss out on trades and it won't be the strongest trend line because now you've got even less touch to price and even less uh, strong swing points in the market. So by doing that, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So when you're drawing your trend lines, you want to be doing them as more of a line of best fit rather than capturing points accurately to the pit so when you're drawing trend lines you want to be looking for more of a line of best fit rather than the accurate line okay so now i'm going to show you a second example using eurogp on the daily time frame of how to use trend lines using your candle wicks okay so let me draw the trend line okay i could probably get another touch here because remember, you always have to adjust your trend lines in order to get as many touches as possible. You're not going to draw it accurately first time. Okay, so you can see we have one touch there, second touch there, third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, ten, eleven. So you can see we have many touches showing that price is respecting this trend line. So that's a good trend line drawn. So when you're drawing trend lines, you won't obviously get it right the first time. You have to be adjusting your trend lines every now to get as many touches as possible. And you have to be doing that constantly as price changes until it eventually breaks the trend line and starts a new trend. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to drawing trend lines using candlestick bodies. Okay, so we're back to USDJPY on the weekly time frame, And now I'm just gonna talk you through how to draw trend lines using candle bodies now. So when using candle bodies to draw your trend lines, 
you want to essentially ignore the wicks of the candles. So a good way to do this is just switching over to the line chart, so which only shows you the closed price, so you can just fully focus on that. So if we get our trend line tool out, and we try and get as many touches of price as possible. Okay, so you can see that just like the candle wicks, we've got strong swing points in the market, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, a false break up there, six, another break up there, seven, eight tests of price. So it's a good, it's a strong trend line. It's got strong swing points and as many touches as we can get, which has eight, which is a lot of touches, so that it is strong. So if we switch back to the candlestick chart, you can see that we have our trend line now. So I'm going to compare how to draw, I'm going to compare the pros and cons of candle wicks and candle bodies, drawing trend lines with them. Um, in a minute, but right now I'm just going to focus on drawing trend lines using the bodies. So we're going to switch over and take a look at our second example. Okay, so we're going to take a look at EuroGBP on the daily again for our second example of drawing trend lines using candle bodies. So first we switch to the line chart and then we get our trend line tool out and now we connect the points. So remember again as many points as possible. Okay, so you can see that we've got one there. A small breakout there, another small breakout there, another one there, a test there, a test there, almost a test there, a test there, another small breakout, a larger breakout, a test there, and then price eventually breaks the trend line. So you can see a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten test of price. So that shows that it's reliable and strong. So it doesn't matter if it's on um, candle bodies or candle wicks that you base your trend line on, you probably will still get strong strong trend lines drawn. Okay, so now we've seen how to draw trend lines using candle wicks and candle bodies. So now we're going to compare the two and work the pros and cons. Okay, so we've got UCJPY on the weekly and we're going to use this pair to compare the two trend lines. So first get our candle wick trend line drawn. Okay. And now let's get our candle body trend line drawn. Many times as possible. Okay, so straight away you can see that the candle the candle wick trend line is already higher than the candle body trend line. So that has its advantages and disadvantages for us. So first first of all you can see that this point here tests the candle body trend line but does not hit the candle wick trend line. So that's a trade for us if we're using candle bodies. We can go short there because it's hit our trend line and it's a downtrend. But if we were using our candle wick trend line, it didn't quite make it to the trend line. So we might have ignored this trade and missed out on this trade here. So obviously candle bodies wouldn't get you into that trade and you would have captured the pips. And obviously if you use the wicks, you would have missed out. And you can see it again here. You can see that it made the touch with the candle body trend line and missed the candlestick trend line. So when you're choosing your trend lines, what you're gonna use and how you're gonna draw them. You have to bear that in mind that sometimes you're gonna miss out on trades, sometimes you're gonna get in trades, and that's just um, a thing that we have to live with in trading. But there are some disadvantages to using candle bodies to draw your trend lines. Uh, one is that you'd be more of a victim of false breakouts because your trend line would be a lot closer to the price, so there'll be a lot more times that price will close above the trend line, indicating that the trend is over and maybe a new trend is gonna continue. And you can see that happens here you see that the, this trend line goes through candles there goes through candles here so some people could be thinking that trends are going to be over then a new uptrend will continue at these points but in fact they were just testing the the candle wick trend line here there was a false breakout in the candle wick trend line there but you see here it was just testing that trend line and then it fell so people could be going along there when in fact it was actually a short trade and you could be caught out um, with scenarios like that. So there are disadvantages and advantages to using both. And my opinion is just be consistent with one because if you keep chopping and changing, you're gonna be, um, be a victim to some false breakouts, then you're gonna miss some trades, you're gonna get some trades, and then you won't be really consistent and you won't be getting the trades that you want. So just make sure that you pick one and just be consistent with it. And last but not least, we're gonna check out how to draw trend lines using zones in the market. Okay, so on your screen now, we have EuroCAD on the file chart, 
And first thing I'm going to do is draw a trend line using candle wicks. So remember as many touches as possible. Let me lower a bit more. Okay, so you can see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six touches of price, and then price eventually broke out of the trend line. So we have six touches of price before price broke out of the trend line, showing that it is strong because it's reliable and price keeps on respecting it. And again, we do the exact same thing with the candle bodies, switch over to a line chart. And again, as many touches as possible. And it doesn't matter if price breaks through it as well, it still counts as um, a test of price. So we've got one, two, break through there, three, four, five, six, and then price eventually broke out. So again, many touches as possible. You want to get multiple, and those are the most reliable trend lines, and those are the trend lines you want to be trading with. So now if we switch back to the candle chart, you can see that price has given us a zone. So this zone is where you want to be looking to short the market and look for sales. So you can see the market has now come down, come up to the zone, sold off, come up to the zone, sold off again, the same thing, repeating. So you'll be looking for trades in this zone. Again, giving us a wick into that zone, sold off again, another wick, sold off, come into the zone again, sold off. So you can see that it's a strong, strong zone price keeps on respecting it. So that's where you want to be entering the market for short trades. And then eventually the market uses the same zone as support and broke the trend and start a new one. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. So by now you should have all the knowledge you need in order to draw trend lines well. So now all you need to do is go out the market and go practice. Draw as many trend lines as you can so you can perfect it and start drawing trend lines confidently. Decide whether you're going to draw your trend lines using candle wicks candle bodies or candle zones. I personally prefer to draw my trend lines using candle wicks because I feel like it gives me a better picture of the market and I've been drawing my trend lines using candle wicks ever since I started so I have a better understanding of it. So make sure you keep practicing and don't give up. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, share and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. Please comment if you found this useful or if you have any questions. But till the next one, I'll see you later.